So I'm with Paul and Seth, and you've designed and made a plasma speaker, is that correct? Yes. Cool. Uh, basically, what we've got, uh, just a regular audio source, just using my cell phone with an eighth inch output, okay. to take an audio signal and put it into some simple logic. Uh, we're taking that analog waveform and turning it into a pulse width modulated uh, digital waveform, which we're using to switch 37 volts DC through a flyback transformer using a set of MOSFETs. I'm going to turn this off, it's a bit windy. Uh, those MOSFETs are switching that uh, that flyback transformer at about 25 to 30,000 hertz and superimposing the audio signal into that pulse width modulated switch. Mm -hmm. That is producing about 60,000 volts between these on? electrodes you turn it back and on? very, very rapidly changing the current of the plasma or through the plasma. Yeah. And as that current changes, the heat of the plasma actually changes as well. When it does that, the density of the air around it modulates and causes the air to vibrate. Essentially, we're doing the same thing with heat that a conventional speaker does with a paper membrane. So, this is only very good at reproducing high frequency audio. Yeah. We've also got a woofer built in here to play the bass. Okay. To try to make it sound a little bit better. So if you had a much bigger one, maybe you could get some of the bass, or? Uh, you yes. get a very large art, probably a Tesla coil. Yeah. And you said you did this as a capstone project, right? Yes. For the University of Louisville. Cool. And so this was this a senior project, or yes. a capstone for the this year? It's a self-sponsored project, the only one that semester. So, yeah, we uh, put a lot of work into it, but I started building this new enclosure uh, about a week and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, basically, everything here is built from scratch. Cool. So, you know, we've got a bunch of built-in components, a, a built-in active crossover network mm -hmm. control the audio coming out of the woofer. And we've got a crossover adjust, volume adjust for the woofer, master volume adjust. This turns the plasma on and off. And don't really want to mess with this. This is the duty cycle for the flyback transfer. Okay. This is our audio input and our uh, just 37 volt, 12 volt input right here. Huh. Now, where'd you work on the project? At school or? Uh, actually, well, the first version we did at school. This one I've been working on at our hackerspace level one. Yep. Um, we've got a really great space in Louisville with uh, about 35 members and just all kinds of great tools at our disposal oscilloscopes, wood shop, metal shop. That's great. Really good stuff. Great. And can people find out about this online someplace? Uh, actually, I'm going to be in uh, May. So as soon as go. that's up there, I'm going to have some schematics and stuff like that. All right. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't play nice with wind. Yeah.